From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. It is witheringly slow, relentless, and massive. This flood of 2011 is running behind predictions in terms of when it will crest in each community downriver. That means a longer wait for the water to do its damage, and that means people waiting longer to leave their homes. And look at the damage so far. Two million acres of farmland flooded in the Delta region. That's equal to about 1% of all the crop land we have in this country. Crop loss is estimated at 300 million, but it's so early yet, farmers in Louisiana alone could lose that much. And covering it all again tonight, NBC's Ann Thompson. She's in Butte La Rose, Louisiana. Hey, Ann, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Flood gauge here at Butte La Rose, which measures some 20 feet, is underwater, and many of its residents are gone. Peace and tranquility are why people live in Butte La Rose. But today, it is too quiet. Most of its 800 residents are gone, ahead of the flood expected to do historic damage. There's no personal belonging that should be more valuable than a life. Michelle McGinnis plans to leave Friday, keeping track of the rising water day by day. Now they said it's supposed to crest somewhere between the 23rd and the 25th at 27 feet. Today, the Atchafalaya River stands just under 21 feet, and half of Michelle's four-level dock is in the Butte La Rose Canal. Knowing what happens with hurricanes and knowing what the Mother Nature can do with water, you couldn't pay me to stay. With more than 10% of the gates of the Morganza spillway now open, no one is quite sure when the water will arrive, frustrating some residents trying to plan their escape. So it goes to show you they, they don't know. They don't know what's going to happen. The Army Corps of Engineers says its plan is working as expected with an unexpected assist from the drought. As the water comes out of the Morganza spillway, it's just being so sucked up and absorbed so fast by the earth um, that it's not flowing as fast as we should, which is a good thing. In Stevensville, protecting the elementary school is a community effort, but the principal is taking no chances. Today, he ended the school year two weeks early. All the equipment's been removed and all the furniture's been removed, so we're, we're trying to save as much of this building as we possibly can. Uh, little, Congressman Jeff Landry grew up here and now represents taxes, six of the end eight end threatened course. parishes. To be called the, we seem to keep taking it on the chin, but we get up and go about our life afterwards even when their homes are sacrificed to protect others. When the flood arrives, it's expected to stay for weeks and leave damage that could take years to repair. Brian? Ann Thompson starting us off again from Louisiana tonight. Ann, thanks.